Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. And if you're new here, I'm Jim. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in Luminar Neo, and I've got a photo that's basically blue. And uh, I love blue, to be clear. But this was a sunset, and it was a little bit past sunset. And while the sunset was really pretty, after the sunset was mostly over, there was only a little bit of color left, and my photo just basically came out really, really blue. What I want to do is make it look a little bit more like I took this photo 20 minutes prior, when it was golden hour. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna basically take a blue photo and make it an orange photo. And that sounds kind of dumb, but I think you know what I mean. We're gonna adjust the temperature. And you might think, hey, Jim, that's easy. You just drag the temperature slider. No, uh, we're gonna do a lot more than that. Now that's part of it, but that does not get the job done. So let me show you the photo. Here it is, that's uh, fairly blue, but you can see there's a little bit of warmth in some of the clouds and that sort of thing. But what I wanna do is turn it into that, which is a lot more vibrant, a lot more warm, and really looks like the tropical sunset that it was. Let me hit reset, and we're gonna dive into this right now. Okay, so here we are in Develop Raw, and you can see I've brightened the photo, adjusted shadows, things like that. So again, started really dark, and it's currently like that. And so what I was saying is you might think, let me just drag the temperature slider. I want to pop that warmth and just get that photo looking warm overall. But it doesn't really do it. I mean, it looks kind of washed out. It needs contrast. It just needs more than just a temperature adjustment. And so a temperature adjustment is a part of it. I'm at 4,900 and something, and I'm going to go to 5,600 and something. And I'm going to bump up the tint a little bit as well. While I'm at it, I'm going to give it a little uh, bump in a vibrant. So, you know, something about like that. So you look at it and it's uh, brighter and a little bit warmer, but we've got a lot to do. And this is why I'm saying that the uh, the temperature slider just doesn't do it. You might be tempted to say, well, I'm going to hit it with golden hour. So let me show you what that would do, or in this case, not do to the photo. Golden hour at zero, golden hour at 100 not the final look that I end up with and not really what I'm going for because golden hour is really good at popping the warm tones that exist in the photo. And if you look at before, there's not that many warm tones left in the photo. There's just a little bit. It helps, but it's not the thing, right? I'm going to use it at the end, but that's not how I get there. How I get there is using some other color tools, starting with toning. So I'm in highlights, and I'm going to drag that saturation to like low 30s, and I'm going to leave the hue in red. Now, that doesn't do a huge amount. There it is before, and there it is after. But what I'm doing is uh, the highlights are not just in those bright parts of the cloud. They're all over the photo. And so I'm just basically creating a little bit of warmth in all the slightly brighter parts of the photo. Now, keep in mind, and I don't talk about this a lot when I talk about toning, but it's a really powerful thing to do, and that is the amount slider. And so what you can do is drag the amount, and that will give you an even more intense uh, application of this. Now, I'm not going to do that, but depending on your own photo and how it looks, because again, every photo is different, that might be something to do. So I'm fine with toning, and now I'm going to go into color harmony because it's amazing. Oh, let's just be honest. It's fantastic. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is in brilliance and warmth, I am going to drag this warmth pretty high. I'm going to go to low to mid 60s. I think that looks good. It's bright in the photo. It's kind of washed out a little bit, but that's okay. We're going to, we're going to get that taken care of. I'm now going to go into split color warmth, and it's basically, it allows you to either increase or kind of neutralize the warm or the cool tones. What I'm going to do is increase the warm tones so that the warm stuff gets warmer. So, you know, we're making some progress. If you look at the before, there it is, and the after, there it is. I've gotten rid, not really gotten rid of, but I've tamed a bit of the blue, and it looks warmer overall, and it looks a lot more like the kind of sunset that I wanted it to look like but I'm going to use color balance because it's fantastic. So uh, in shadows, depending on your image, you might want to adjust the shadows. I'm actually not going to do anything here with shadows. I'm going to go straight to midtones, and in the cyan red, I'm going to go toward the red. So I'm going to give in the midtones a little bit more red and less cyan. Cyan's kind of that aqua marine kind of blue. And uh, in the magenta green, I'm going to get away from the green, and I'm going to go toward the magenta just a little bit, like a negative six or so. And that's just giving it a little bit more color. I could also use yellow, but I don't need it here. In fact, I'm just going to go straight to highlights. And here I'm going to go cyan red away from cyan again and toward the, uh, toward the red uh, of nine, right? So again, every the numbers that I use are just going to vary by photo. 
I mostly just want you to experiment with the tools and see how well they work on your photos. Let's look at color harmony overall. Very blue before I got into color harmony, even though I adjusted the temperature and I adjusted split toning or toning. I created a lot more warmth in the highlights. It was still fairly blue overall. Now it's a lot more warm overall and it looks a lot more like a tropical sunset. So I think that's looking pretty good. But now I'm gonna go into super contrast because when you create the difference or accentuate, I should say the difference between light and dark, which is what contrast is, it does pop the color. And the great thing about super contrast, and I talk about this in all the videos, is it highlights the three different tonal areas, highlights, midtones, and shadows. And so you can kind of pop the color, for lack of a better word, in all three of those areas. So I'm gonna to go to the low 30s on all three of these uh, tonal areas, something about like that. And again, this is all experimentation. There's no right way to do super contrast, which also means there's no wrong way. Just experiment, have fun, move the sliders around. That's all I'm trying to encourage you to do. But don't just move the sliders, uh, the, the individual contrast sliders, also move the balance sliders and that's all experimentation. There is no method to my madness when I'm in uh, the balance sliders. I just play around until I get something that I like. And what I ended up liking here was basically that. And so if you look at the colors now, there it is before super contrast, and there it is now. It evens out the light, it kind of flattens it in some regards, even though I'm creating contrast, but I think the contrast still looks great. There it is before, and there it is now but a little bit more intensity to the color. So I think that looks nice. And now that I've done all that, what I wanna do is go get Golden Hour and try that at just a low amount. I wouldn't go too high. I don't think I would go like that. That's just too much. But I think maybe a 20, 25 looks pretty nice here. You just wanna be careful because those warm tones in those clouds are right up in here. They're getting pretty intense. So just be careful that you don't overdo it depending on how the sky and the clouds look in your own photo. In fact, I might pull that down to about a 22. And if you look at the before, there it is before, and there it is after. But that's basically it. If I show you the before overall, I mean, it was dark and blue, and now it's bright and warm. So this is a great way to really control the colors and the tones in your image using all these powerful tools. And you can really take a blue photo and make it a orange photo you know, basically kind of a blue hour and make it kind of a golden hour overall using these tools and just taking your time and experimenting. That's what I wanted to walk through today, my friends, because if you're like me, you got a lot of photos that you took even after sunset because, hey, we stick around. We're photographers. We like the light. As long as we still have light to work with, we're probably going to be taking photos. So I've got a lot of kind of blue hour type photos that are, you know, post sunset, of course, that's when blue hour is. And I just want to make them look a little bit warmer and a little bit more golden. And you can do that pretty easily in Luminar Neo. There it is before I started. And there it is now. That's how this one went, went my friends. Hope it gives you some ideas. And if you like this video, check out that video. I'll be back soon with more, my friends. You guys take care. And until uh, the next video, I'll see you then and adios.